the official opening of the St. Andrews Wellness Center. I would like to recognize some of our esteemed guests, including member of the Legislative Assembly, Representative for St. Croix, Kathy Bacchus, Mayor Nation, and some of our counselors. I see Councillor Bishop and Councillor Akaji here. I think that's it, Mayor Nation. I'd like to also recognize uh, governors of the Dunn Foundation, Sharon and Tom Taylor. Our local physicians, Dr. Peer and Dr. Levesque Taylor. Horizon Health representative, Susan Neal, and other town staff and guests. I would like to start out with a quote that represents the process of this wellness center. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success, from Henry Ford. What started out as a conversation between Tom Taylor and Mayor Nash about improving the medical center evolved into, into the facility before you. Through a partnership of the T Dunn Foundation and the Town of St. Andrews, we were able to progress on a project that will benefit residents for decades to come. It was a team effort as our design consultant, Toss Solutions, met with the users of the facility on Sophia Street, staff and the Marin Council to, ter to, to determine the best facility to meet the needs now and moving forward. At the start of the project, as Public Works removed the floors of the call center, we found a bowling alley buried underneath. With the benefit of a low snow winter last year, they were able to continue to prepare the space for construction. Built by Maxim Construction, before you is a center that has added tremendous room for our current health professionals and as additional space that can be used by other health service providers on an as needed basis. It was important to hold this celebration now as we certainly need to acknowledge the success of this council in supporting this important initiative, both financially and with our own personnel. We are certainly delighted with the final result and look forward to working to provide more services in the future. We are certainly indebted, indebted to the Dunn Foundation and their continued investment in health services in our town. And with that, I'd like to invite the Taylors up to give a few words on behalf of the foundation. Thank you, Chris. It's wonderful to be here today um, in planning for this opening ceremony on the invitation from Chris on behalf of the town to speak on behalf of the foundation. It made me think back a bit on our I guess our beginning here in St. Andrews, it ties in. So if you bear with me just for a moment, I got a brief story to mention. So back in 1970, my father was here in town playing a game of golf with his father at the time um, to uh, see the town and enjoy the Algonquin golf course. And during that golf game, some persons in the town had heard there was a dentist visiting and there was no dentist in St. Andrews. So they searched for him and unable to locate him on the course, God knows where he was, probably in the woods. Um, they found his car and they left a note, could you please contact us, we'd very much like to speak with you. So after the game, he met with them and lo and behold, it led to my mother and father and uh, siblings coming here in the fall of 1970, uh, purchasing a property that had a, a horse stable on the property they converted into a dental office, being the first dental office in St. Andrews. So that opened in the spring of 71, and when Dad began practice, he befriended Lady Beaverbrook, who then took his friendship uh, closely, and between them and with the practicing doctor at that time, Dr. Donnie Smith, they came up with the concept for a health center in St. Andrews to be constructed so that there would be medical services provided along with dental for the residents and the, and the people living close by in the region. So, that grew into the original health center that was constructed and opened in 1975, I believe, if I get my dates right. And that then carried us forward. My mother was the first dietitian practicing there at the health center and my aunt followed her. So another tie into our family as we've come through and brings us forward to today with the grand opening of this beautiful health uh, St. Andrews Wellness Center that we have today in front of us. 
I wanted to give uh, thanks to the town, to Chris for spearheading the project management of this, keeping it on budget, on time, as best we could with the pandemic unfolding. And the fact that uh, they were able to pivot during the pandemic in their planning to manage the access and exit from the facility with the guidance of Dr. Pierre and Annette and the Spires family, I believe, as well, um, which was very smart to take their inputs uh, for the functionality and the daily operations of the facility. It's important that that's considered. Um, it led to what we have today. So I wanted to welcome our new practitioner to St. Andrews uh, officially as well, uh, Dr. Levesque Taylor, no relation, but <laughs> could have been. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful to see. So the next development that I'm looking forward to hearing on in time will be uh, the addition of dental services here where the spacing is in place and now we're seeking dental practitioners to join and fully complement our health services in the town of St. Andrews and local areas. So on that behalf, I wanna thank the council, the mayor, I wanna thank Chris, I wanna thank the town crew for bringing this together, for Maxim Construction, for their services in developing and building this renovation. And the, 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 the location itself is also very fitting considering that this was gifted to the town of St. Andrews by Lady Beaverbrook, I believe in 1967 is when this opened or close to it. So the use of this space in this town, in this center, you could not have had a greater synergy. So on that note, thank you very much and uh, congratulations. Thank you, Tom, we really appreciate it. Now I'd like to bring forth from uh, greetings on behalf of the of the Minister of Health, uh, our MLAs previously uh, uh, mentioned, Mrs. Kathy Bacchus. You're a hard act to follow. Where are you? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for having me here today to celebrate with you. On behalf of Dorothy Shepherd, Minister of Health, and as your MLA for St. Croix, it brings me great pleasure to be here to commend St. Andrews on the grand opening of the St. Andrews Wellness Center. I would like to say a special thank you to the Town of St. Andrews Council for having me here today, Mayor Doug Nash, uh, Deputy Mayor Brad Henderson, and Councillors Kate Akaji, Edie Bishop, Dee Gru, Kurt Gumichel, Andrew Harrison. And I'd like to acknowledge Tom Taylor of the Sir James Dunn Foundation, Lucinda Fleaver of Kingsbury Garden, who provided the plants for the facility, and of course, a new wellness center team. There's Dr. Brian Peer, Dr. Julie Levesque-Taylor, Annette Hartland, Giselle Neal, and Anna Hulse, the physiotherapists. Not long ago, I was able to join Minister Shepard on some of her virtual stops during the recent five-year health plan consultation tour. The engagement we, wish we witnessed from members of the province was inspiring, and one thing became clear to me. New Brunswickers want to be engaged in the future direction of their health care system. They want to be involved in health care decisions that impact their communities, and our government supports that. Government hears you and is thrilled to be working together to deliver a sustainable and dependable provincial health care system. I was left feeling encouraged by the participation, and I know we can be an example to generations to come. I am excited to see the strides being made in delivering health care to our province and this town. As your MLA, I'm proud to witness the hard work and dedication that went into creating the St. Andrews Wellness Centre. The strength and safety of a community relies so heavily on the individual health and wellness of its people. I know that this town will serve as a beacon for the people of this, or I'm sorry, this centre will serve as a beacon for the people of this town and the surrounding area. I'm proud to be here today, sort of a little distracting with the sirens, isn't that appropriate? <laughs> and to be your MLA, thank you and congratulations. And now, on behalf of Mayor and Council, I'd like to present uh, our Mayor, Doug Nash. Thanks everyone for being here this afternoon. Um, I have a very short speech, which I'm not known for, but uh, four years ago, that's four years, plus one year, plus 
two weeks, less 10 days, the mandate of this council will be over and we will move on to the next council. But we've had a very productive and proactive council over the last uh, five plus years. And, uh, but there's no question in my mind, and it's not the time to be talking about all of our accomplishments, but our most important accomplishment has already been outlined is this wellness center. And it's our uh, magnus opus, our great work of the time that we have been here. And uh, there's no coincidence that it's called a wellness center because we very consciously have gone forward understanding that for the most part now our wonderful Canadian health care system is in somewhat of a crisis because we are actually in the illness industry now in, in health care and as the minister has pointed out many times we have very little time so far to deal with wellness and it puts me in mind of the story of the people that go to uh, drain the swamp in order to get rid of the alligators, but they're spending most of their time fighting the alligators. They never get around to draining the swamp, but they know that if they did, the alligators would go away. So I think uh, clearly we have to deal with illness. That's the primary responsibility of the healthcare system. But we have to do it in such a way that there's time left over to deal with prevention, to deal with wellness, in the hope in the long term that we will have less people that require intensive care for illnesses and certainly going through the COVID-19 pandemic as we have and we've done it very successfully in this community but in many other cases there have been tragedy after tragedy and seeing that every day on TV reinforces to me the importance of a wellness approach into the future and I think we're on our way to do that, uh, as was pointed out already. So I'll leave it at that. And I want to thank you again. And I, I certainly want to uh, thank the Dunn Foundation, who have been our partners over many, many years. And certainly without the, the contribution of the, uh, the Dunn Foundation, this uh, would not uh, have happened. And uh, one of the things I do want to say, and, I, and, and Kathy, don't take this personally, and don't, and don't take this back to Minister Shepherd, but uh, one of the good things about this center is that it's a completely self-sufficient operation that's been paid for by the generous contribution of the Dunn Foundation being matched by the uh, taxpayers of St. Andrews. So I think when we talk about primary health care, we should be talking about community health care, and I hope this can be a model for the rest of the province. Thank you very much. And now we'd certainly like to bring forward Dr. Brian Peer, who has been in the community for many, many years and, uh, and persevered over at 108 Sophia and now has helped us in the design and uh, final use here over at the town and was instrumental in helping to bring, bring Dr. Levesque Taylor to the area. So, Dr. Peer. Welcome everybody. It's a wonderful place, isn't it? I remember being here when I was about 13. I came on a on a sailboat with my dad and my mom and the rest of my family with the RKYC. And we came and uh, visited the Smiths, Dr. Smith. I just never thought at that point in time that I'd be the physician for the next 26 years. <laughs> it's been a wonderful place to work. Uh, the town and the Dunn Foundation have been very helpful in uh, helping me manage my practice. And uh, I just, the vision that the uh, Lady Dunn and uh, Dr. Taylor and Dr. Smith had back in the 1970s, it's nice that they could carry this on into this new building. And I'm really glad that I have another person to work with. <laughs> it's been a long uh, 26 years with about five different physicians. I think Julie is gonna stick this one out. I think she'll be here longer. <laughs> Come on down, Julie. Just say hello to everybody. So you've you've been here before, and vacation, right? Yes. So, so was I. At that, the attraction that I have to this place is based on when I was younger, and I used to come down here. So it's like living in a vacation place. 
And that's often what I tell people when they ask me, I don't know, can you hear me? I'm, I'm short, so um, thank you. Every time I touch those things, they tend to make noise. Um, so when I first came here, I, I, I thought, what a beautiful place. I'm from Moncton originally. And, uh, and when it came time to come home, we thought, well, let's live by the ocean. Let's live in a place where we can be part of a community and, and live a quiet life in a beautiful, natural place. And St. Andrews certainly fit that bill. So I tell people all the time, I live on a postcard. It's a, it's a beautiful place. And my husband and my family, my dog is deliriously happy. And so uh, we're not going anywhere. We're super happy to be part of a community that values, as the mayor says, health and wellness and the support that uh, that we get from the from the town and the Dunn Foundation allows us to spend more time um, with patients which means that we can talk about things like uh, prevention and you know I've never met so many people that I don't need to convince to do some walking mm -hmm. and that exercise is prescription and the time that we can spend doing that makes a huge difference and so uh, I'm happy to be part of that team and uh, I've never felt so welcome in a, in a community so I appreciate that too thank you very much for everyone for coming On behalf of all the members of the community, I would like to thank all of you involved in the completion of the new Wellness Center. We continue to collaborate with Horizon Health for providers in and outside of their system to provide more services, striving for the better health of everyone. I wish to thank Paul Knopper, Terry Acton, and other staff who have made this possible today. But I'd like to make special mention of Terry Acton, who's on our staff, who helped drive this project after it was told to start construction. He had to work on a daily basis and supervise uh, an outside contracting crew to make sure they made through. And as anyone knows with renovations of an old building, you're always surprised when you open something up. So he was the man on the ground to make decisions that we could keep forward without running into long delays. So I'd like to call him, Dr. Peer and Mary Nasho, to open up this uh, uh, center through the uh, cutting of an official ribbon. Thank you everybody for coming. There's some homemade refreshments.